Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to change the fuel filter that's in the valley of this 2001 Ford F-350, same as the 250s, 450s, all that have the 7.3, this will be the same. So we're going to change the fuel filter this morning. If this is helpful, smash the thumbs up button, comment below. First thing we're going to do, if you still have this cover on, take off these two bolts right here, or nuts, take this cover off. All right, now we can see a little better. This is your fuel bowl cap um, with your fuel filter in it. So you're gonna need to stick something in here to twist this cap off. Um, I'm gonna try using these big channel locks here. Those are not gonna work. I'm gonna find something else, probably a big wrench. Okay, I just grab, I've got a 17 millimeter wrench here. I just stuck in here and then just, it slowly turned out like that. Um, so then we're just going to slowly turn this cap off. You can see your filter in there. Try to keep that clean. Um, you can buy the filters without the new cap or with the new cap. I just buy, you know, just keep reusing the same cap and just change the seal that's here. They always send you a new seal. All right, so I've got a little drain pan here. Just gonna kind of wiggle this thing out. And real quick, just like that. Then we're gonna put our new filter in there. Let's take, you really want to be careful not to be getting dirt in there, obviously. Um, so when you're taking this old filter ring out here, I'm going to shut it off and do it with two hands so I can be really careful. But you want to make sure there's no dirt that's falling in that bowl. And uh, put your new gasket in here. You can see this black gasket I'm wiggling with my finger. Um... And you can see how dirty this fuel filter is. I should have changed this a while ago. Yeah, quite a while ago, actually, if I'm being honest. Um, so, uh, thing we're going to do, put this new ring in here, drop our new filter down in there, and then we'll come back. All right, so I got my new filter here. I'm going to have a link in the description where you can get this on Amazon um, with the cap and without so you can see there's two rings here. This big one is that one we took out. And then the second smaller one goes right here in this little groove by my index finger. You just put it in there and that helps seal it up. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I'll stick this back in, put that new ring in. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this or not, but you can see how this is kind of flat side and it's kind of triangle shaped. So up here where my thumb is, is kind of like the top of the triangle. Down here, my index finger, that's the flat. So the flat where my index finger is going to sit down on the bowl. And then that top of the triangle is going to be up towards the top coming down on the cap. All right, that pushes down um, kind of tight, fits tight on that post that's in the middle of there. You just push it down. Then put your new seal, big seal on there and slowly turn your cap back down. I think actually on the top of the cap here. It says install slowly. You can see it right there, install slowly. So when you're putting this back on, just really slowly turn it back on. The other thing I do is I wipe a little diesel around that seal before I put it back in there. Just took a little dab here on my fingers and kept wiping it around, going around kind of like you're doing an oil filter seal. Then we'll put this cap back on. All right, we've got our cap put back on there, tightened down. Um, so what we're gonna do is go cycle our key several times. Just basically, you wanna get your fuel working back into that bowl so there's no air bubbles in there. So we're gonna cycle our key, um, I don't know, four or five times, just kind of listen.
what you'll end up hearing you can kind of hear bubbling and stuff in there you want to keep doing it till you don't hear that anymore it's nice if you can have another guy up there but it's not necessarily crucial just keep cycling the key for a while if you're not sure do it a bunch of times then you'll be good all right last thing here reinstall your uh little trim piece here and you're good to go uh, if this video is helpful smash that thumbs up button comment below and just say thanks uh this was helpful whatever just something to help the youtube algorithm um i'll also have those amazon links in the description if you want to check those out and uh appreciate you watching have a good one